Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and this is a quick unboxing and the, my first impressions of the Poco M3 Pro uh, which is called one of the best smartphones in terms of performance under 20,000 rupees. But before we begin, let's talk about something that is even more important than this. Guys, we usually keep recommending you the best smartphones, the best gadgets to help you save money and get, uh, get the best of the performance from each of those devices, right? But what's the point of saving that money when you can't actually uh, take full advantage of it? Taking full advantage means having a healthier life and then using those gadgets for your advantage. If we aren't safe right now, there's no future, there's no point of even buying smartphones with lesser pricing and a better price to performance ratio or whatever it is. So right now you know how the situation is in the country in terms of that COVID-19 situation. So I'm talking about that. Be safe. Always try to wear a mask whenever you go out, not try, you actually have to do that and also keep yourself sanitized and also wash your hands as soon as you come back home because it's not just for yourself but also your family and your neighbors. So now let's start with the smartphones unboxing and also talk about what are the major aspects of this smartphone which the brand has said are the best of it. So this is the box package of the Poco X3 Pro and on the back you have most of the specifications that are mentioned for the device and also the version or the color options. This is the graphite black that we have. Now as soon as you open the box package the first thing that you see is the Poco branding itself and the SIM ejector tool. Along with that you have the booklet that's the quick guide and along with that there's uh, the transparent rubber cover which actually feels quite good. It's a thick cover and uh, it also gives you the indication that the phone is not going to be uh, slim at all. Now here's the smartphone itself which uh, looks good at least with this color version it looks good and the blue one is almost similar to what uh, it was on the Poco X3. I have I have used only the blue option for the Poco X3 but this graphite black actually gives you a newer color I mean a newer refreshing look which actually looks good. Now apart from that you have the 33 watt fast charger in the box and there's the USB Type-C cable indicating that the phone has a USB Type-C connectivity. So the Poco X3 Pro is launched in two variants. The X3 Pro's uh, uh, storage, the base storage is kept at 128GB and there are two RAM versions, 6GB and 8GB. And for 6GB, obviously you are getting it for under 20,000 rupees and that's the best part of it. There was one exchange offer for someone who still has their Poco F1, one of the best Poco devices ever before this obviously this was the poco f1 the one that i had was this armored edition and it actually was great in terms of everything when it was launched and that's when most of the other brands thought that okay now there's some actual competition in the market and people actually had an advantage to find better devices because other brands felt that pressure because of poco and now Poco X3 Pro is going to do the same thing. Obviously with the naming it's not the same Poco F1 to X3 Pro still the brand says that this is the successor to the Poco F1. So there's an offer as well you would get a 7000 rupee of cashback or exchange offer if you are giving back your Poco F1 to the brand and buying the Poco X3 Pro on Flipkart or on their website. So the Poco X3 Pro's main, the main feature of this smartphone is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 and before the launch itself I had showed you this one this was uh, the small chipset that the company had sent us this is a real chipset that's the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 and you can see the back of it so the real processor since these were the initial chipsets we got one of them luckily because of the launch invite and 860 is nothing but a bit of an upgrade over the 855 plus but the good thing is 855 plus itself was a great chipset when it uh, comes to the performance of it and obviously 860 getting better than that is going to give you that extra advantage in terms of gaming and the company fully fully talked about the gaming part of it because of uh, uh, the growth of the gaming industry in India, the gaming smartphone industry or the smartphone gaming industry in fact has been growing in terms of not one game which is banned which obviously has always kept uh, things controversial but even other games of smartphones including uh, uh, COD Mobile and their players who actually have now got into the esports uh, uh, for COD Mobile and obviously we are hearing some positive news about the comeback of PUBG Mobile so if that happens obviously this smartphone is something that most of you would be looking at because not everyone has a budget of over 30,000 rupees to get a great OnePlus or Samsung 
sorry not samsung obviously you know how samsung performs in terms of gaming but one plus or even iphones iphones people choose them in uh, when it comes to second hand smartphones because they at least need a good and stable device for gaming here the poco x3 pro when you're getting something at under 20000 rupees and getting the same performance of what you would have got over 30000 rupees obviously that's going to catch a lot of eyeballs so this phone has lpddr4x ram and also ufs 3.1 storage one of those smartphones which actually has a very good upgraded storage so ufs 3.1 for someone who's into streaming uh, for the transfer of the data or even who's into recording games uh, that storage ufs 3.1 is going to help a lot and in terms of display there's 120 hertz ips lcd display no amoled that's what you need to remember no amoled so uh, you can again be choosy about that but i would say i don't really care about that for me speed of the display actually matters more in when it comes to the performance and because the smartphone is all around that 120 hertz refresh rate and 240 hertz touch sampling rate is something that uh, i would see as a good advantage here and apart from that you also have the gorilla glass 6 production and that is again something that the brand has taken care of i mean i would have thought that okay the brand would say that i am giving you qualcomm snapdragon 760 forget everything else that's not happening you're still getting some uh, good feature set here you have uh, the 120 hertz uh, refresh rate you have gorilla glass 6 over there now if you talk about the other features of it there are a few things that the company has actually included and not uh, taken as something as a business perspective i would i'm clear about that because there are brands that have tried to remove the headphone jack even i mean xiaomi did it in their flagships but if you're talking about a mid-range smartphone you shouldn't really take out that headphone jack because it is really needed for someone who's into streaming so the poco x3 pro has the headphone jack and people who's into game who are into gaming they obviously know the very good need of it this is the poco x3 pro the back of it uh, the actual design actually looks uh, pretty good i mean uh, you can see that the poco branding is quite a large one i i don't uh, really like this kind of branding but uh, still i mean there are brands that are catching up with this and most of the brands have started doing it and uh, this is kind of a different design i mean it's not a complete uh, uh, glossy finish the center part is glossy and uh, the two sides around it are a kind of a smooth matte and that is something you don't really see uh, very commonly in the market and in terms of design and also the heaviness of it it's 213 grams it's not that light of a phone but there's a polycarbonate back which i'm happy about i always am happy about smartphones that don't have a glass back because you don't have that extra headache of uh, taking care of that as well so polycarbonate not a big deal the poco branding is large which annoys me a bit but it's all about user to user who likes it and not and if you're slapping a case over it all the time you don't have to really worry about that as well now uh, apart from that it has a 9.4 mm thickness so it's not going to be that easy to hold and use all the time but once you get used to it you won't really mind that thickness or even the heaviness of that smartphone in terms of camera this comes with a quad camera combination 48 mp primary camera 8 megapixel wide angle and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 2 megapixel macro you have the entire uh, set of cameras over there but obviously you know if we talk about uh, the same price range you see smartphones from the parent company or uh, i would call it a parent company xiaomi uh, redmi note 10 pro max offering you a 108 mp uh, camera in the same price range and even realme offers the same and uh, uh, having a 48 mp is not going to be a great feature here so this is one aspect where the company might have thought that okay we are talking about performance let's not have talk about camera performance here let's talk about the core performance of the smartphone so it's a pretty decent set of cameras and not something that you would call one of the best in this price range now what from that you have a 20 megapixel camera on the front internally the phone has uh, miui 12 based on android 11 and uh, you have the basic set of uh, features miui 12 for poco that is kind of a little difference from the miui uh, 12 that is for uh, the redmi and xiaomi smartphones you don't have ads that is something to remember here and there are quite a lot of pre-installed applications uh, amazon is pre-installed and also you have uh, uh, the other applications such as uh, Prime Video, Netflix, uh, those content consumption apps are there as well. So if you're talking about uh, content consumption, there's one thing Poco has made sure you have dual stereo speakers. It won't be really great for gamers because we usually use headphone jack or the headphones for the same. But for someone who's into watching movies, if you don't want to use earphones all the time, dual stereo speakers is going to help you a lot there. Now, if you talk about the battery, 5160 mAh battery, not something that the Poco X3 had. 
but, but the Poco X3 had some issues with uh, the uh, weight balancing. It was not balanced overall in every angle. Here it seems better in that way. Uh, so this is better in terms of how you feel all the, or the in-hand feel of it. But it's not going to have that large battery. It's a 5160 mAh battery, not that small either. But it has a 33 watt fast charge support as well. So these were the major features of this smartphone. If I'm missing something, yeah, there's dual Volti as well. Liquid cool technology, yeah. It's for gamers, obviously you have that cooling, uh, which is the cooling technology, which is made better from the previous one. And the company says that obviously it's going to make uh, things much more cooler, but we don't really expect the device to heat up as much as the other smartphones. Even the latest flagship 888, the Snapdragon 888 heats up a lot, but the Snapdragon 855 plus wasn't something that you would call as a heated up chipset all the time. So this is not going to heat up that much. Along with that, having that cooling technology is obviously going to help you there. So these were the major features and this was all about the POCO X3 Pro. You have a side fingerprint sensor, buttons on the side, the right side and uh, the SIM ejector tool on the left. You also have something that Xiaomi always has in every sub brand of this or every pay, uh, sister concern. You have the IR blaster which helps in the quick remote functionality. Second microphone is present as well and most of the uh, important sensors that are needed they are present here including gyroscope for gamers. So that's it guys. This was a quick overview. I would say if you are looking out to buy this smartphone and if you are confused, the full review will take time. But for my initial impressions, I would say I'm quite impressed with this device. And if you are looking to buy this one, I would give you a clear go. You can go purchase this device. And also if you have a Poco F1, I would say it's not a bad deal to uh, let go of the Poco F1 and get the Poco X3 Pro because you are getting a 7000 rupee discount on that. And Poco F1 is not a very recently launched smartphone. It's all over two years, I guess, uh, for that device uh, to have launched. So. If you're getting 7,000, it's not a bad deal at all. So that's it guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to give some time for more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.